Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this gorgeous star stitch crochet blanket. I'm using Mary Maxim Titan Bulky Weight Yarn. It's 100% acrylic for this project and it's a bulky weight number five. I'll be using two crochet hook sizes. So I'm working with the nine millimeter for the majority of the blanket, but I'm gonna drop down to an eight millimeter when I'm working on the border. Okay, so our stitch pattern is going to be worked in a multiple of two plus three for our starting chain. So for your blanket, you're going to be chaining out 113, but I'm just gonna work through a smaller swatch with you. So I'm gonna chain out a total of 17. Now we'll work in the second chain from the hook, pulling up a loop, and we're going to do the same thing in the next four chains. So pull up a loop, pull up a loop two, pull up a loop three, pull up a loop four. So we've pulled up loops in five chains in total. So we have six loops on our hook. Yarn over, pulling through all six loops, and we'll chain one. Now to work, we've worked our first star stitch. To work our second, we're going to work through the eye, which is right here of our star. So go through, pull up a loop. You can see the loops of the star stitch here through the very last one. We'll go through, pulling up a loop. Go through the base um, chain of that star. And now we'll go through the next two chains. Okay, so we should have six, again, loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all six loops and chain one. So let's work through that star one more time. We'll go through the eye pulling up a loop. Here are the loops of our star, that last section there, we're gonna push right through, pulling up a loop. In the base chain of the star, pull up a loop, and in the next two chains. Make sure those loops aren't too tight on the hook, keep everything nice and loose. So as I'm working along, I just like to count just to make things simple so I don't lose track. So here's my first loop, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six loops on the hook, chain one. And as you work across, we're going to be ending with only one chain. So it's just a slightly modified star. So we're working through the eye, through the stitch, through the base, and the last chain. So you now have five loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through. I'm going to chain one in turn. And then we're going to work half double crochets along this row. So we'll begin with a half double crochet in the eye right here. Then we'll work two half double crochets in the next eye. Yarn over, go through the eye, pull up a loop, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pulling through all three and we'll work through the eyes across. Okay, and then in our very last space here of this star, we're going to work a half double crochet. 
So if we take a look here, we'll count these ones by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Ending with one, starting with one is 14 stitches. And if we count our stars, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the partial star. Okay, so that's how that's looking for our setup row. And then our first half double crochet row. So now what we'll do for our next star stitch row will be to chain out three. And we'll be working in the second chain from the hook, pulling up a loop. In the next chain, we'll pull up a loop, go through the next stitch, pull up a loop, the next stitch, and the next stitch so that we have six loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through, chain one. Going through the eye, going through the stitch, base of the stitch, and the next two stitches. Six loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, chain one. Okay, and we're continuing in this manner across. Okay, so I have six, chain one. So now for your entire blanket, if you count, so I had you chain out 113 so that you should have 110 stitches in total. So that multiple of two, whatever you crocheted, plus three. So we crocheted 17, sorry, 13. So take three off is 110. So now I'm just gonna work across in my star stitch and then I'll meet you up. So we're coming up to now our final stitch. We'll go through the eye, pull up a loop, go through the stitch, pull up a loop, go through the base, and the last stitch. Pull up a loop. So we have five loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, chain one. So for my swatch, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Even though my seventh is partial, if we double those up, I'll end up with 14 stitches. So for the total blanket, you should have 55 stars, including that partial star at the end. So now let's work a half double crochet row again. So we turn, we work that half double crochet in the eye, and then two in every eye across until the end. Okay, so you're working across a total of 110 stitches. Here's the last eye and then in that last space here we're going to work another half double and again we can count it 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14 and you should have 110. Okay so and you can always make up a small swatch like this to start. Now a blanket it's we're not as picky about gauge with a blanket it's just a blanket but if you want to be fairly accurate with your yardage and the size that my blanket comes out, then you may want to do your swatch just to double check your gauge. So I'm going to go ahead and work two more rows. So I'm going to start with that chain three, working the star, pulling up in the second loop from the hook, the next loop, the first stitch, and the next two stitches. Yarn over, pull through. Okay. 
and I'll continue with stars across. Coming up to my last stitch, oops, five loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all five, chain one, turn, and we're going to finish off with that half double crochet row. Okay, so we've now made a nice square swatch. So easy to count the rows with this pattern because we have this nice sort of puffed up little space right here so we can go two four six so just as you look at your blanket you can easily count your rows so i've worked up for my blanket a total of 62 rows and now what we'll do for our border is we're going to change over to the smaller hook so i'm working with the eight millimeter so now for the border, we are going to need an odd number of stitches. And we have an even. So what we're gonna do is work across in single crochets. And then you get to decide whether you want to increase or decrease as long as it's odd will be good so I'm gonna go ahead and increase it I'm gonna do it right here okay and then in the corner so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, so we have 15. And then I'm going to add two more stitches in the corner. And what you can do is you can mark the middle stitch, okay? And then we wanna work down an odd number of stitches as well. So I'm gonna do a little math to help you out. So you'll wanna work, You if you have 62 rows, we're gonna multiply that out by 1.5. So you're gonna have 93 stitches worked across the side. I only have six rows, so I'm gonna work nine. So you just wanna evenly space one, two, three. So that kind of covers those first two rows. One, two, three. The next two rows. One, two, three. And then we're going to work three in this corner. One, two, three. And I'm gonna grab a stitch marker. So again, we'll mark that center. And I worked across 15, so I need to make sure that I'm working across 15 here as well. So this will count as one, two, three, four. So I did two in the last and then the corner will be 15 and then we'll add two more stitches and we'll grab another stitch marker and there's one two three 
two, three, one, two, three, one, two. three and then in the same stitch as we started in we can just add two more stitches to make that corner slip stitch to join and then this will be our other corner stitch so once you get around your blanket and we have all these stitches marked, it'll be really easy because now we're just working around and whenever we get to the marker, we add three stitches in the marker. So I will single crochet in that first stitch. Okay. And you can always drop down again to a smaller hook if you're finding the border looks kind of too wavy. If you need to get a tighter stitch, then just drop down another hook size. So I'm gonna go across to this marker. Okay, and then in the mark stitch, we'll work three. One, two, three for a corner, and continue and just do this all the way around. If you want a thicker border, make sure to mark again that middle stitch but I'm not going to go around again, so I'm just gonna keep going around and not worry about my markers. Okay, so in that last stitch, we're going, the last mark stitch, we're going to work three, and then we'll slip stitch to join. Okay, so this is a much smaller version. This is how it's going to look at this point. So now we'll chain one. We're going to work a single crochet, a chain, three, and a single crochet in the same stitch. Now we're going to skip a stitch, work a single, chain three, single, skip a stitch, single, chain three, single in the same stitch, and we're just gonna make this simple little picket edge border around the blanket. I think it's just really fitting with the star stitch to kind of give it a little bit of a almost roughly sort of textured border. But of course, if you wanted to keep it simple with a single crochet border, you could work around another time or two and just have a nice plain border as well. And I'm gonna keep going around just in this manner, skipping every other stitch. Nothing special is happening at the corners. We are just working exactly as I've shown you. So nothing special at the corners, just keep working the picket and skipping every other stitch. Okay, we can finish off by slip stitching to join. So you can just fasten this off now and weave in that tail. This makes a really cute little pot holder. Potentially, even if you wanted to make up something small like this as a dishcloth would look really, really great. Okay, so here's the finished blanket. I did wash it and dry it, and it's come out really nice and soft. You'll notice with Titan that it feels rather stiff when you're working on, when you're working with this yarn but rest assured once you give it a wash it's going to come out nice and soft it won't be stiff at all so this yarn is safe for the washer and dryer so no worries about that it will make a nice durable blanket i'm going to use this for my new granddaughter and stay tuned for some more videos coming i have a star stitch baby hat that will be coming soon to my channel as well 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell so you stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Make sure to click down below into the description box for all the links. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.